The hot temperatures we're experiencing have also been accompanied by some humidity. As News Channel 3's Jennifer Franco reports, knowing the effects of that combination on your body can help prevent heat-related illness. Stepping outside in this heat, it doesn't take long before you start sweating. The beads of perspiration that are wiped away is a sign your body is working to cool off. Dry heat allows the process to be more effective. As you sweat, it actually forms a cooling, uh, evaporative cooling on your skin, so it helps to keep your core temperature down. Dr. Utham Contaxis is the medical director of Eisenhower Health's Tenity Emergency Department. He says when there's humidity on top of the heat, you're not able to use that same evaporative cooling mechanism, and so you get heat retention and you can increase your core temperature. That combination has landed people in the ER for heat-related illnesses and in extreme cases even led to death. Locals are used to coping with the summer heat, but it's visitors that are not always prepared. Where we see the most uptick is either in the early spring, late spring, early fall, late fall, when it's still hot and people are coming from out of town. Groups considered at risk include young kids and the elderly who may not notice they're overheating, especially if left alone. Others at risk of heat-related illness include those on medications like psychiatric drugs that can increase body temperature. When that happens, hospitals turn to a number of measures to save a life. We pack them in ice, we put wet towels on them with fans, we use evaporative cooling, same thing we would recommend anybody at home. In Rancho Mirage, Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3. Heat-related illnesses are preventable, and there are warning signs to look out for, including headache and dizziness. For a full list of signs, visit KESQ.com.